Okay, Chapter 16, Near Palace Makarath. After successfully crossing Mount Geru, the group evades Norian troops and makes their way to the town of Makarath. Once there, an ally falls ill. Oh yeah, this part of the story. I honestly completely forgot about it. We get COVID and stuff. Chapter 16, Pleasure Palace. I sort of remember this. Kingdom of Nor, Castle Flashbang, I mean Krakenberg. So weird seeing it in HD. Your Majesty. King Garen. It appears as though the Hashins have crossed Mount Garu, but with the power of our imagination, we can imagine anything can stop them. I'm aware of that. It seems your trick with the explosives may be growing stale. Maybe we should ask the Magic Conch Shell. Oh, Magic Conch Shell, what do we do to kill the Hashidans? Nothing. The Magic Conch Shell has spoken! Iago, did you hear that? Running out of ideas, are we? My, My apologies, are. Your Majesty. I take full responsibility for this misstep and not first confronting the magic- er, consulting the magic conch shell, not confronting, that's something very different. However, I assure you that I have more tricks up my sleeve. I'll redeem myself, you'll see. I certainly hope so, or else I won't allow you back into the imagination box that we have behind the throne. Why, yes, yes sir, of course. I plan on ambushing Harmonia and his troops shortly. Do as you but understand that this is the last failure I will tolerate. You are Certainly, rich. Your Majesty. Hmm. Pitiful. Not even level 12 in Fortnite. I don't know how levels in that freaking game work. Kingdom of Nor Makarath. <sighs> Finally, some sign of civilization. Even though this place looks deserted. Yes. yes, I believe this place is known as Makarath. It's a town known for stage shows and gambling, much like Nestra. However, it seems as though the war has put a damper on business. Yeah. That's just as well. We don't have any time to waste. We should probably keep to the outskirts as much as possible. That's true. Agreed. Freeing Takami's got COVID-19 now. Huh? Talk to me, are you feeling okay? Did you not wear a mask or social distance? Or wash your hands or whatever the heck? Oh, yes, everything's fine. No. You don't seem very steady on your feet. Perhaps we should rest. Oh, really? I'm fine. <laughs> Your best voice acting. Herk! <laughs> Mine's clearly better with my herk. <laughs> but you know what I mean. This is a freaking weird art because it's like, you know, they're actual, you know, kind of 3D models slapped on. So it's like different from, you know, every other portrait thing or but it's weird. Talk to me. Can you hear me? Someone help. Oh, no. How is this possible? What is it, Sakura? What's wrong with him? Please. I think he has a rare fever that's specific to this region. It's called the Big Dumb. Do you see those spots on his throat? That's one of the unique symptoms. Do you see that black spot on his hand? He's been keeping up his piracy for way too long. It's extremely serious. He could die if we don't treat it immediately. Quick, does anyone have any oranges? What? God, how could this have happened? He didn't social distance. It's possible he contracted it from one of the wolf skin when he's the one using the ranged weapon, but okay. There are known scavengers and carrion is loaded with icky germs. I'm sorry. I should have noticed his symptoms a lot earlier. Uh, Don't worry, Sakura. It's not what you think it is. This isn't even my final form! It'll probably just go away on its own. Or maybe Azura can try singing for me. Didn't that work before? Sing the sick away! I'm sorry, Takumi, but my song isn't a miracle cure. It won't help with this. Oh, now you tell me. If I remember correctly, there's an herb that can reduce the fever considerably, but I have no idea where to find any. I, uh... Hmm. The Palace Macrath should have a well-stocked apothecary. Huh? But if it's a Norian palace, why not be filled with, you know, Norians? Also, isn't the apothecary class exclusive to Hashidans? But, yes. uh, yes, of course. However, I notice we haven't seen many people around so far. I think it's reasonable to assume the palace will not be fully staffed. 
Especially when King Garen isn't around. Hmm. Well, I can't think of a better idea. Let's check it out. Here we go. Very well. Follow me. My intelligence reports are highly detailed. From who? Are you okay? Will you be able to walk, Takumi? Oh, yes. Short way, at least. Just put my bow in my hand if we run into any Norian scum. Oh, that's another Norian scum in the counter. Even in this state, I'll take a few of them out with me. <laughs> Jacob's the only one in his canon class here. So, this is one of Garen's palaces. It does seem oddly deserted. Stay alert. We've been lucky so far. Garen wouldn't leave the palace completely abandoned. We should remain on high alert. Understood. Understood. Is everyone ready? We can do yes. Now let's not dawdle as we enter the palace. There may be roving guards. Let's move on three. One, two, five. Three, sir. Three. We've got this. Come on, every. Oh, so he just does that animation from Master Ninja, the class that I threw myself in to patch up my res a little bit. Hey, look, it's Ryoma with Ryoma's club. Intruders, show yourselves. Here I am. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing spins now. Looks like we have company. Brace yourselves and be ready for anything. Garen could have left a monster waiting for us. Or a trap. Or a monster trap. Or even worse. PCs with preloaded Fortnite. Flora? Huh? Lord Harmonia? Uh, what are you doing here? Flora? Sister? Um... Why are all of you here? This is super dangerous. There's an unused room nearby. Let's get out of here and talk. <sighs> Alright, we should be safe here for a while. It's so good to see you again, Lord Harmonia. Yes. You too, Flora. I miss everyone from Nor. Except King Garen, of course. Screw that guy. He freaking spends 16 hours a day playing Fortnite. It's probably not good for his health. Probably the reason why he's as pale as he is. Anyway, uh, what are you doing here? Well... After you left, everyone in the Northern Fortress was sent away. I got my orders to come here, and that was it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know my decision impacted a lot of people. No. It's okay. I'm actually happy to be here. Your decision really opened my eyes to what was going on. Now I'm just glad I don't have to see King Garen every day. <laughs> I see. I'm glad to hear it, Flora. Um... So, how did the rest of you end up here? Come on! I'm sorry, but it's a long story. And right now, we need medicine for my brother. He's got the big dumb. Can you help us? Yes. Yes, of course. Nobody works at the apothecary anymore, but it's fully stocked. He he accidentally contracted some Norian scum during our travels. I'm sure I can sneak out whatever you need. Thank you. You do that for us. I'll do my of course. Best. Any friend of Lord Harmonious is a friend of mine. After I get the medicine, I'll show you how to sneak out the back door of the palace. Thank you, Flora. You may be saving my brother's life. Surprise, assholes! Yago. Hello. Hello, Harmonia. Happy to see me again. After that last best of five we had in Smash, I always knew that I'd need to come back for a rematch against you and your Pokemon oh, trainer. My Sonic will beat your ass any day now. What do you want? You're massively outnumbered here. Uh huh. So quickly you begin speaking of battle. Where's the witty banter? One mustn't leap straight into battle without a little banter. It's uncivilized. Also, as usual, you're badly misinformed. You are the one who's outnumbered. No. How did you know we were here? Were you the one who attacked the hideout in Cheve? Oh, I'd love to take credit for that. But I'm afraid it belongs to one of your friends. Huh? What are you saying? Um. I see. Ah, dearest Flora. I didn't realize you were here. Kicked out of Garen's inner circle, were you? I don't have anything to say to you. Oh. oh, saucy. I like it. Just like I like sauce on my freaking insert brand uh, food item here. Hashtag not sponsored, but could be. I hope you're listening, sponsors. Maybe I'll kill you at last. Yago, I'm ordering you to leave at once. I'm an official employee of this palace, and you are not. This is the staff room. Remember, this is King Garen's royal villa. What would he say about you destroying it with a battle? Oh, you're so wrong. I can do anything as long as I get results. Like this, see? 
I just summoned a sham wow, isn't that crazy? That's for talking back. Now, who's next? We all bend the knee before I'm finished. But Harmonia, run! No, Flora. She is just taking a little nap. Now, I'm feeling all bantered out. Let's get down to business. What do you think about the current stock price of EB Games? Wasn't there that whole fiasco going on about it where people kept buying stocks to say screw you to Wall Street? Do you want to get in on that? That's what I came here to ask you about. That's my business I'm bringing here. Doesn't that sound fun? You'll pay for this, Iago. I have you Wonderful. A pithy final statement from our hero. Unfortunately, this is no fairy tale, Prince Harmonia. It's the freaking legend of Iago. King Garen would like your head on a platter, but I'm not one to disappoint him. King Garen wants his victory royale. Not a How's this for pithy? Get him! Okay, everybody out of my party real quick. Well, um, let's see the stuff that I missed here. Um, it says you just figured out less than a minute ago, Three Houses has its own separate subreddit from the main Fire Emblem subreddit. News to me. Uh, this place is known for shows and gambling, so it's fancy Vegas. It could well be. And a rare disease that's only in this region. That's convenient, isn't it? And Norm's Scum Couch is now eight, you believe? And Saucy, just like my Gorilla Mind Rush Gamer Sauce. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, tasty. Just like G Fuel, which you can get now, too. If you go to the sponsor in the link in the description below. <laughs> I like the name of the spell. Uh, that's probably clearly how that's pronounced. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, now I feel like I'll bounce it out. Let's get into business to defeat the Huns. I don't know what that's a reference to. I'm sorry to say. I love how he has staff ability, even though Sorcerer typically doesn't get the freaking thing or Bob. Um, who needs to build up A plus supports is the question. So my unit's coming along. We'll definitely bring along Ryoma. Uh, Ryoma already has his A plus support. Is there anybody who wants A plus support from Ryoma though? Let's see here. Um, let's see here. So Azura would A plus with Hinoka, Jacob and Silas. Kaze and Silas. Um, let's see here. Um, Takami would want A plus with Ryoma, so I'll take Takami as well. We're gonna, we have a whole bunch of S supported people, but like we're just gonna wind up taking people that need to like build up their A plus supports. Where's Takami? Where's that nerd and such? Hello, hello, sages. I like that slippy emote. Where's Takami? Oh, we can't take him. Darn you, game. Um, let's take Kaze and Silas to get these two to support and whatnot. Ganungab Gap in Norse mythology is the void between worlds, huh? Spicy. Yeah, these two need to build up a support thing or Bob. Um, let's see here. Who else is building up a thing? Oh, let's go to my other page here. Um, Azura and Hinoka can do a thing or Bob. So we'll do that and then um We'll do this. Yeah, you can't bring Takumi because he got plot disease. Darn. Um, let's see here. Jacob and Silas. Uh, the, the Silas is already in the... Coming with the freaking thing where Bob. Um, and Silas would with Kaze, so that helps that out. Let's go to... That's my page of, like, units that are shared across routes. So my thing where Bob here specifically. We're almost already A-plus. Takumi, I can't bring in right now anyway. Saizo's A-plus is pointless because, um... He has, his class sets are Ninja and Samurai, and he got Sky Knight from his S support partner of Azura. And if he a plus with freaking Ryoma or Subaki, he'd get freaking, you know, Sky Knight, which he already gets from Azura. So Saizo really doesn't need an A plus at all. Um, Kaden would be with Hinata, apparently, to get Samurai. So let's bring those two. Let's bring those two, how about? Where are those two? Hinata and Kaden. Let's put those two together to start liking one another and stuff is what we're doing here. And then let's see here. Um, Azama would also want to A plus with Kaden. We'll worry about that later since these two are supporting right now. Um, Hinata would want to with Kaden for Diviner looks like. Um, Subaki would want it with Saizo to get Ninja. So Saizo and Subaki can go together. How about like that? And then, let's see here. Um, 
Hayato would want to with Azama to get bunk, I guess. Because why ever not? Because the other option is Kaden, which he can't even get anything from. So Hayato and... Where's Azama? There he is. There's the man of the hour. So let's see here. Let's pair up these two and such. And then we can bring one more. So maybe like a healer or something. Or freaking Wall Hannah. That's <laughs> what we could do. We had we had Wall Hilda in our three houses playthrough. Now we can have Wall Hannah in our Fates playthrough and <laughs> such. There's some interesting emotes there. That's what we could always do. I mean, is there anybody that needs experience? Maybe just someone who needs like experience in certain weapon types. Like Kagero can build up experience with... A few different weapons here. I mean, so can Rinka, and she has some more problems. Let's just bring Rinka, I guess. Screw it. She's gonna be on her own. I mean... Oh, you already have A with me. Maybe I should bring somebody that can pair up with me who I haven't, like, gotten all support with. Like Kagro. Do we have any support here? C. Okay, sure. There's a pair up. Cool. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. How about Bug? Indeed. Where are we going? Do we have to route the enemy or defeat the boss? Route the enemy, apparently. Um... You have some stuff there. We should be, like, freaking OP for this. In theory. It should be A-OK. -okay. We're gonna need to have a couple of units back here to, like, deal with this situation. Whoops. Dang it. Um. Oh, Ryoma's on his own. I could always build up support with Ryoma. We've got our two Master of Arms and such. These guys move? Apparently they don't. That's interesting, isn't it? Sure, let's just do something like this. I don't know. Let's go ahead and save our progress. And then we're going to hop right into things. Victory route the enemy. Okay. Oh, now it's showing me turrets, apparently. Um, but I know about those. Let's worry about these guys. Is what we do. Um, maybe I should deal with this over here first. I wouldn't be able to do it with a... Yeah. Yeah, we'll get up that experience a bit later. For now, we're just gonna freaking... Tiger Spirit this dude. And she gets a sniper makes you think of Disney's Robin Hood since Mr. Hood there was a fox dude? Is that what happened to Disney's Robin Hood? I've never seen it before. As expected. As expected. I always swings around the freaking fan thing for Bob like a... Like a spear. Um... Yeah, we're, um... Yeah... Yeah, sure, let's do this. Kaze's purely a freaking whatever this class is again to like help fix his defense for a little while, essentially. Like this is not gonna be his final class at all. This is just what he's chilling in so that his defense start stops being like paper thin, you know? We're not gonna be gaining experience super fast though anyway, so it's not like it matters as things currently are, but you know, whatever. Okay, well. Sure. Um, Disney has had its times of death. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely... I've definitely heard a thing or two. About things with Disney here and there. Yeah, we're not going to be gaining a lot of experience with things for a little while here anyway. So, you know, not like these things matter too much. But, uh... Okay, I guess we're working on... Let's work on this for now. Sure, let's do that. Let's do that. Poke him. Poke this man. Poke. Cool. Well played. You gained a few XP points instead of just one. Um, these guys will want to attack out there, but I think that we're so beefed up that we're basically fine. Kyle's love for Rinka is so powerful, he transcended races and became an Oni. <laughs> my oh my. What a world, huh? You have an armor slayer? I think, I think it was freaking, wah, Silas that had it, was a thing. Sure, let's do this. Sure, let's do the thing. Draw your blade. Okay. Falcon kick. Yeah, we're gonna be OP for things for a little while. It's gonna be the thing. It is what it is. I guess we're gonna hit you with Reginto. I guess that's what's going on here. Yeah, he's just gonna chill on Master of Arms to, like, get experience with other weapons. He won't be getting experience with other weapons right now, but, uh... <laughs> you know. 
But we switch to other things. Because, like, he's going to wreck things in whatever class he's in anyway. If these other things get up to their cap that they can be in this class, which is B, then at that point, it's like, yep, now I'll freaking reclass back to Swordmaster. You know, but, uh... Let's see. I got a Steel Shuriken plus four. That was a massive pain of visiting other people's castles to get the materials to do it. Let me tell you. It was a massive pain. But yeah, you want a VR Fire Emblem now? I mean, there's this that you can do. I don't know if Citra supports VR, but there is... <laughs> there is technically, like, this thing that, you know, makes you look kind of through their eyes. It's weird. It's really weird, quite frankly. But yeah. This is pretty nice. I mean, that could be one interpretation of it. I mean, like, it starts the regular battle screen like that, and then it does this. Oh, miss? It's kind of weird and jarring. Well. Well, I'm going to go back to the regular thing again. My goodness. Well, so, uh, there's that. <laughs> we have a few thing bobs there. Didn't notice that? What's this view? Oh, just purely like that. Okay, oh, this is the regular thing. I didn't choose the proper regular thing before. I'm getting a lot of crits. <laughs> Welp. I don't think I've ever put my unit into the freaking Master Ninja class before. This is interesting, to say the least. Whenever someone says, draw your blade or any variant of the phrase, you think of Final Fantasy Tactics, me or someone named her the character, so Weegar says to the player, draw your sword, mother ever. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it probably would be very disorienting in VR, wouldn't it? Am I actually gonna die here? Miss. Miss. It's gonna miss. It's not gonna miss. I failed again. Really? Whoops, I freaking No! Gosh darn it! I just loaded a state from when I was grinding way earlier. But I did save, so if I hit restart, dang, I naturally went to the load state thing, Rebob. But I am saved, so like, unless it just loaded things from that state. Okay, well. Imagine if I actually undid my progress right there. That would have been so bad. That would have been awful. Um, but yeah, that would be disorienting VR just if that camera angle was in it. Yeah. Fired and a hit and I'm hit both times. Yep. That, uh, yeah. I could have Kagro deal with this and then, like, you know, someone can block the way. Like Ryoma. Okay, well, I'll call my animations off for this little bit since we, you know, failed it once before. And then Ryoma can freaking do stuff here with, um, with this, how about, is what he does. Yeah, like that, and then, um, and then that, and then this, like that. Oh yeah, he has a Steel Katana plus four, another freaking massive pain for me to get and such. Um, alright, well... Yeah, let's go ahead and do this, is what we do. We'll go ahead and smack you with these tigers. Cool. You're no match for me. You're no match for me. <laughs> Way past cool. Um, yeah, you do have the armor slayer there, Silas. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have freaking buff Kyle dealing with this first and foremost, is what we do, as one does. And they build up supports, and yada yada. Welp. Okay, we'll smackaroo this guy. Cool. Very, very nice. Gain our, like, next to nothing experience points. Alright. Well, there we go. Come on, please miss. Please miss. You're no match for me, my Sonic OC. Blood Edge the Tiger. That seems like something Hayato would say, isn't it? My goodness, well, Ah, <laughs> oh my oh my. Okay, I hope that these miss, but it should be fine if it doesn't. Okay. Okay, they both missed again. <laughs> Me too! Time to go smoke a pack of cigarettes a day with a voice like this. Yeah, Ryoma can deal with this like no problem. Nice hit him in the snoozle. Absolutely. Boop. Yeah, let's just give him some experience in other weapons just for the sake of it and stuff. Let's just do it. New cannon Hiato is using summon scrolls. Is him summoning his Sonic OCs? 
So every time he attacks an enemy, he just calls out like a different name for a different OC or something like that. <laughs> Get him, Blood Edge. Get him, Chaos Guy. I don't know. <laughs> just imagine. Ow. Welp. Yeah, Ryoma's gonna freaking wreck everything no matter what class he's in, so I mean, you know. I got a chest key, apparently. Oh, uh, that guy's out of here. That guy's freaking out of here. He's doing things. He's doing stuff and junk. Okay, well, people are on their way out of here. Those guys are gonna want to go get the treasure and whatnot. Um, let's see here. We'll go over here and we'll heal up Kagura because she could use it and such. I mean, pff, okay, sure. Sure, throw the sword at him, Silas. Cool. We made it. Works for me. We did make it, didn't we? Yeah, another chest key. Send that to the convoy. My unit has freaking lock touch, among others here. Um, we can rush in there. It's fine. Yeah, let's do the thing. As a master ninja now, now Saizo has access to swords, so he'll be gaining experience in that for a little while build up that weapon level. Oh, he still spins the sword around in the super crazy kind of way. Um, let's see here. I mean, sure, let's do this. Let's do that, how about, is what we can do. Okay. Oh, I was kind of hoping it'd be a crit. Um, between Ryoma attacking and dethroning God and Hiato, summoning his OCs into combat, these streams have the deepest lore. It really has wound up turning out like that, hasn't it? <laughs> We've got our freaking lore in the in the stream and his streams. Well, how about you freaking smackaroo this guy? Is what you do. Poke! Reminds me of Mozu. Cool, we'll get a level up. I'll take it. What kind of level up we getting? Pretty nice. Quite nice, actually. Duelist Blow? What's that one again? Um, avoid plus 30 when you initiate combat. Okay. I mean... We should probably deal with, like, the troublesome ones here first. I mean... Yeah, let's do this. We can get Ryoma in there to do his stuff and junk. That's what we could always do. Welp. Quite nice. Okay. Quite nice. Then Ryoma. Oh, he'd have to Reginto this guy. Dang it. Well, I guess we're not getting experience with other weapons right now then. Dang it. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Welp. Cool. I'm very glad that I gave him Luna from Silas. Definitely a well-used A-plus support. So, I mean... Yeah. Let's do this, how about? Let me at him. Welp. Well, a bit of lag with that one. Recognize Hinoka's voice when I say she also voids someone in Blaze Blue. Something that I've heard the name of before, but I know, like, nothing about. Is it pronounced Blaze Blue? I don't even know. Swipe the silence. How dare you? Oh, this would be rude, wouldn't it? Please just say that the other dude can't reach the... Really? Miss. Miss, please. Oh! Oh my goodness, my life flashed before my eyes. This game scares me sometimes. Like, I'm overleveled as heck, but like... I'm st it's still scary. What the heck? Technically speaking, in the original Japanese, it was Blay Blue, huh? Well, news to me. My goodness, scary stuff. Time for some revenge, methinks. Time for some revenge real quick. Stabby stab, cool. No chance. Um, hmm. Would this be a good opportunity for Hayato to, uh... Sweet, sure, let's do that, I guess. English should go for Blaze Blue instead, huh? News to me. Well, time for some pokes. 
Of course it would land. Of course it would. That's a cool animation. Oh, he freaking lands on his back though. It's less cool now. <laughs> he just freaking lands on his back. His poor spine. He's probably gonna have to go see a chiropractor about that one. Like, geez. What the heck? Kyle? You wanna freaking smackaroo this guy? Got some axe experience that you're probably never gonna use later. <laughs> probably never even gonna use freaking axe experience down the line, but build it up anyway for fun, I guess. Because sure. Um, hmm. Oh man. I'll just position myself here. Without attacking. And stiff. Sure, let's do this. Yeah, axe experience is what we get. That's what we need. Alrighty. Cool. Yeah, keep on giving him experience for different weapon types because screw it. That way he can still be developing something, you know? That way it can still be something at least. Sure, let's do this. Sure thing. What is it with low percent crits this sitting? A good effort. My goodness. Many low percent crits. Um. Uh. This will skedaddle here and stuff. This guy's gonna be on the run. What? What you mean? Hmm. What you think you're doing here? I do not consent to freaking ambush spawn reinforcement spawning here. Not at all. Not one bit. How'd you do that? How did Ryoma do that? Who even knows? Let's go ahead and smack aroo these dudes. That's what we do. Build up some experience with these other weapons. Well, should I turn up the game sound a smidge maybe? To like there? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, well. Yeah, let's go... Wait, did he open both the chests? He didn't! There's one more still there. That means I'm gonna have to go and freaking open that piece of crap. I thought he'd open both of them before he ran, but he didn't. Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you open them both? Now I gotta freaking make the trip there. Ryoma having Luna is overkill? Nah. Nah. Luna just helps balance him. Or something, I guess. Um. So you're gonna be on your merry way towards, um, getting these ones at the bottom, I guess? So as long as we make it there first. I mean... Sure. Sure, I suppose. Let's go ahead and heal you up there. This is what we do. And let's see what happens here. Let's see. Ow. But you don't. I was kind of hoping for a random crit. I'm sad. Sad we didn't get one. Of course, there's more and more reinforcements, huh? Welp. Ugh! Come on! Really? Screw this game, man. What the heck? Oh, I haven't replicated with Ryoma yet. I can replicate. I completely forgot about that, honestly. I honestly kind of completely forgot. Welp. Time to smack -roo you, is what we do. Cool. Master of Arms is honestly a cool class that, like, I haven't really used much at all in the past. Quite frankly. I mean... Pfft. I mean, sure. I mean, sure, I guess. Yeah, you're right. You with plus 15 to crit, 1 to 2 ranged weapons with no drawbacks. As level 25 definitely needs Luna to be viable, and he needs there to be two of him. I gotta replicate him. I completely forgot that was a thing I could do. Honestly. 
I kind of completely forgot for a hot ticker there. Okay, well, let's just freaking shove Saizo's face, like, right in there, I guess. Is what we can do. Sure, I don't think he cares. I don't really think he cares a whole lot. <laughs> the over-exaggerated scream there. Animations in this game are pretty cool. They're definitely pretty cool, to say the least. Okay. Okay. What have we got going on here? Oh, good. So not only has Ryoma ascended to divinity, he can also clone himself. Yep. Yes. Indeed he can. I had him level up in Mechanist for a little while to get that thing, Rebob. Was it just me or was that crit quote a little bit buggy? He was like, die, instead of die like he normally is. I don't know. Well. Well. Nice miss. Cool, well. Master Ninja is a really freaking good class in this game. Quite frankly. My goodness. Psh, die. Or else you will die. Oh, Goddess Icon. Exactly what I need. Watch this. There's two of them now. Um. <laughs> um, let's see here. Sure. Sure, let's see what happens here. We're at a weapon triangle disadvantage, so we'll see if both land. Yeah, block the zero damage, thanks. Yeah, they didn't both land, but what you gonna do? Uh, there's Poozen Strike. Thar B. Okay. Okay, sounds pretty good to me. Sounds like a pretty good plan. Cool. If I just had everybody in, like, their canon final classes, Kagura would be a master ninja as well. But alas, what's better than one killer lobster? Two killer lobsters. <laughs> Obviously, what could be better than one killer lobster? Just get two of them. Get them to clone themselves. That's the answer there. Stab, stab. There's another. There's another. Okay, well. Oh, it's this person that would come out there and try to be mean and stiff. Um, let's um do this. But then we'll also do that, I suppose. Hello, hello, Twitch boy, J. Miggy. What's better than two? Three. If only I could have three of them. If only. I'd totally do it. Let's do that, I suppose. But yeah, killer lobsters with laser beams on their head. That could be true as well, sages. Could well be. Um, this might hurt. Ow. I'll hurt a little bit. And claws give them some crazy tools for their for their arsenal is what you give them I got a door key apparently where would these guys even flee from probably here so like we just gotta get there first that's what we gotta do giant lobsters with lasers laser beam claws that's what they need that's what they really need do you know what society is really missing lobsters with laser beam claws I think the world would be a lot better place if only we had that, you know? Why don't we have that yet? The next political party that says that they're gonna give us lobsters with laser beam claws. You know what? I'm voting for them, you know? If only this game had Shadow Dragon Ballisticians because having a full squad of 3 to 10 range tanks that could clone themselves would have been peak video games. Certainly seems like it would have been something, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it have been? What? What's it telling me about? Does extra damage? I don't even know. Um, no one's safe anymore. My goodness. Well, the one person that we have here with one to two range apart from Ryoma. I mean... Sure, we're doing that, I guess. This is what we're doing. Sure. That sounds alright, I suppose. Yeah, bit by bit here. Bit by bit, yes, yes. Let the hate flow through you. Okay, Elon Musk will probably make giant lobsters with laser claws because he's Elon, he does whatever he thinks is funny in the moment. <laughs> Welp. Now I'm gonna have to catch up. My goodness. That's gotta be irksome, isn't it? 
How bothersome. Nice, that missed. Love to see it. All right, here he is sending out his sonic OCs of whatever the heck it named the tiger. This is what he's doing. Well, how do lobster with laser claws in space? It has to specifically be in space. Ow. There he is sending out his sonic OCs to take out his enemies, as Hayato probably does. You know? Well. All right, this is completely fine. This is more than fine. How about you don't do that? Remember that time he tried to sell flamethrowers, but legally because he advertised it as not a flamethrower? That was a thing that happened? What? When was this? Why did this happen? Got a great club, apparently. How's Venture has to do with NASA, you think? I wouldn't be surprised. Welp. Oh, they're getting in there. They're getting right on in there. Um... We can just have Replica Ryoma deal with, you know, this. Is what he could always do. As he might like to do. <laughs> it's already overkill and he goes, you deserve worse! Great club, best weapon in the game, let's go. I don't even freaking recall what it does, honestly. Quite frankly. Sure, yeah, these two can deal with this situation. Is what they can do. Let's do it. Big spins. Nice miss. Cool. It has like 5 billion crit. So oh, I should try giving it to somebody spicy spice then is what you're telling me. Anybody there with range? No? One guy with swords who's like the bigger concern. So here I'd probably wind up switching to the katana. Is what we do. Okay, let's get on in there. Let's make our way in here. This is what we do. Cool. What about the laser gun on zombies, though? It's all about the lasers. Okay, thinking about zombies. Um, So, my dad's been spending a bunch of time at home over the past, like, year or two. What with, you know, trouble that he's had with his knees and whatnot and having to go through oh ballistas um needed to go through surgery for that and stuff and being all workers comp and yada yada and sometimes while he's spending time at home he tries to develop develop some skills and such that he can use and one of those well um one of those that he's developing is like being able to type faster and type better since i guess it's something that like he never got like super fast at or whatnot and i'm actually a little bit worried about this now I'm actually a little bit worried about things, slightly. Quite frankly, to say the least. If that other guy comes out and... This is actually scary now. And he was talking to me the other day. Adobe Acrobat Reader DC updated successfully. Um, he was talking to me the other day saying that he was like practicing typing and that part of it was boring and whatnot. And on the subject of practicing typing, I brought up to him as you know, as a kind of joke thing, like, oh, have you ever heard about the game The Typing of the Dead before? Some, like, early 2000s, apparently it's actually a 1999 PC game that was all about, you know, teaching typing in this zombie apocalypse setting. And he freaking looked it up on YouTube and saw some of it and thought that it seemed, like, really wacky and funny. I'd only heard about it from, like, meme culture before, about it being, like, you know, the strangest typing game probably ever to have been made. Um... And looking into it, turns out there was another one that came out in like 2013, many years later. And he was actually intrigued by it and and intrigued by trying it out. So um my dad now plays the typing of the dead, the game where you type words to defeat zombies, and has told me that it's apparently an interesting change of pace. So uh There's there's that. There's that. Uh so uh speaking about zombies, there's that. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that something, you know? <laughs> My goodness. Um, What's the best way to get on in here, huh? What would be the best way? Um, We can boobity bop. Maybe, maybe. And this time we go for the steel katana. But yeah, yo, yay, new zombie class for PvZ Garden Warfare. Higher sages, imagine. Isn't, ah, uh, isn't, 
Battle for Neighborville out on the Switch now. I actually really enjoyed the single player stuff of that game, but the multiplayer stuff just like got really dull really fast. Like there was just something so magical about the first Garden Warfare game that made it like super addictive. But then like Garden Warfare 2 and Battle for Neighborville, their multiplayer just felt like like it didn't have the same hook, I felt like. I really enjoyed the single player content of Battle for Neighborville. I think that it was a really good time. But you know, I never exactly got super enamored with the multiplayer kind of stuff. I mean, maybe go here and then uh do that, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Type of the Dead is a parody of House of the Dead and has its own parody game called Texting of the Bread? <laughs> really now? Oh, no damage. Cool. Well. Pfft. Okay, I don't think we need to worry too much about those things, luckily. Well. Ow. Cool. Julio, Julio. Smudge on my screen. That I need to get off for a second. Meh. I think when I went, pff, I accidentally got some spit on my screen. Um, that's besides the point. <laughs> well? Yeah, I just have the person weak to bows take the hit from the bow. Cool. Goodbye. Yeah, let's get on in there so that we get, like, the goodies and stuff. Well, this will waste my, waste my guard gauge thing for Bob Duel. Or I don't even know what it's called. The thing. Don't no, waste the thing, essentially. Is what it'll do. Ow. Don't. Cool. We haven't seen Sizer get a crit in a little while. It's strange. I think he would have gotten a crit a little while ago. Oh, come on. Um, sure, I'll pair up there for some extra movement briefly. Um. These guys move. Doesn't seem like. I'm gonna want that arm scroll. Is what I will indeed want, to say the least. These guys have javelins. Nope, don't have to worry about them attacking through the wall, I guess. We'll give Saizo his sword experience that he wants. Since it's still the weapon that he's like new ish at and such. So I'll give him experience with that. Sounds like a good plan. Oh, that's his weird personal skill, Thingmer Bob. Um. Yeah, let, let's just shove Ryoma in to deal with things as he does, you know. Welp. Well, there's that. Are you sorry though, Ryoma? Are you now? Well, we'll get some Naginata experience, whatever. We'll get some experience with it, poke. Maybe I should have done that, like, over here, because then maybe I would have been able to... No, I can still get a Zuru over there to, uh... Sure. Let's build up the thing. Because once he can start using the Bolt Naginata, that'd be pretty cool. And pretty hype, you know? Be able to zippity-zap with that. You know? Are we gonna get Kyle in there? We just need one of these to hit. If they both miss, I'm gonna freaking lose my mind and delete my channel. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, good. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Okay. Everything is seeming A-O fine. At the present moment. Okay. No damage. Cool. Ow, I took one. It hurts. Okay, well, one of these days you're gonna see something like that and it'll actually come true. What? About about what now? Remind me. Because, uh... You know, what I said a little bit ago might be, like... You know... I might not recall it as well anymore. Um... Let's see here. I mean, I guess we can do this. As what we can do. Neat. Yeah! I'm sorry. The sounds he makes sometimes are certainly something. Okay, sure, let's do this. Let's do that, I suppose. 
cool. Sounds good to me. If I That's miss it. both these, I'm gonna delete my chat. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure something like that. I'll freaking. Something dumb will happen eventually. Wouldn't be surprised. Sure, let's do this. this. Is what we can do. Neat. Guess I did it right. Guess I did it right. And then we can just, yeah, sure. Sure. Why not? Poke no Luna this time. We're done here. I'm surprised he hasn't activated Astra yet this battle. You know. We'll deal with him in a hot ticker, is what we'll do. Dang. Oh yeah, that, uh, hold on. Okay, sure. Local man deletes his Twitch channel after missing two 95 attacks in a row. Freaking imagine. <laughs> One of these days, huh? Cool, well, Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Just hope that you don't do anything mean. Because that would suck. Wouldn't it now? Hmm. Let's just go chill there for a hot second. This is what we do make our way downtown. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, it looks like you don't attack and stuff. That's cool. That works out for me. It's an old meme, sir, but it checks out. Sure, let's give Saizo some more sword experience because he's gonna be using daggers way more often than swords. So may as well get some experience with that when he can, you know? There's another. Get better at using them blades. And there's that arm scroll. Okay, both the chests are looted down there. That saves me the effort. Hmm. Sure, I guess. Sure, let's lower your stats. And stuff. Okay. If that was a crit with that, that would have straight up taken you out. That would have been crazy, man. Welp. Get Ryoma or Ryoma's replica in there. I honestly don't know which is which at this point. Sounds good to me. You fought bravely. Sounds rather nice. Hey, look, a chest key. And then we can say... Yeah, it's the replica, apparently. But yeah, let's just do this. How about... Let's do the thing. Sweet. Perfect. Can always count on you. Can always count on you, Ryoma replica. Can always count on you there. Rez? Yes. Since that's why I'm in Master Ninja 4 anyway. Oh, I got Poison Strike. Cool. Cool. I got some more skills and stuff added to our portfolio, resume, whatever the hell. Can't move you right now. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Pair up Ryoma with himself so he can support his alternate self. <laughs> the two Ryoma clones. Nice miss. Oh, Yago's here! And here we are at last. I've been waiting for you. I'm done talking. It's time to finish this. Oh, I agree! <laughs> okay. Ow! Why did they both hit? I, won't surrender. I swear, if some other mage comes around the corner and takes me out right now, I'm gonna be so mad. The child unit together is just an actual lobster carrying a knife. Oh, this is nothing compared to what King Garen will do. Lots of experience there. Other mage should be able to get me. Oh, thank goodness. That was actually kind of scary, especially with both those hitting me. Like, what the heck? You know? What the hell? Okay, well, time to pokey poke is what we do. 
I'm gonna poke you. Part of me almost kind of expected him to get a crit there. Would've been pretty wacky. Um... Kyle? <laughs> Kyle, you wanna smack a him real quick? My goodness, the super over-exaggerated screaming thing. I love that freaking run over the, the thing that he does. What the heck? This class though, huh? Clearly never meant for Kyle. But Kyle doesn't know that. Kyle? You want to do the thing? You want to do it and finish it off? Smack! Yeah, I very much prefer... Prefer Kaze in the Master Ninja class. This does not suit him at all. But like, it means better defense level ups for a while. We might not even be getting level ups for a while because of the freaking... Being over leveled and stuff. Welp, there we go. Done in Pleasure Palace. It's over. This is it, Iago. Now, I just need to know one thing. Answer truthfully, and I'll be merciful. What is the flight velocity of a swallow? Who told you that we were here? <laughs> I, won't I assure you, you have nothing else, nothing to laugh about. Tell me now, or else. Or else you'll have to doubt your own people, alright? What? Why? You, yes. betrayer of Nor, are now being betrayed yourself. Now, I think I'd like to savor the irony just a while longer, so... Goodbye! I'm late for a very important no. date! How can he just disappear like that? When will you learn, young prince? You think that was really me? That was actually my identical twin from Alabama! I almost feel bad for you. But not as bad as I'm gonna feel when I'm... Marry my cousin. Uh, from this moment on, you'll never- I'm sorry, I went for the freaky Alabama thing. From this moment on, you'll never be able to let your guard down. Who will be the first to stab you in the back? Who can you really trust? Shut up. Very well, Harmonia. Good luck. I'm here to help. Flora, are you alright? Uh, yeah, I think so. What happened to Iago? He's gone. We had him for a second there, but then he slipped away. In any case, he can't hurt you anymore. I owe you. Oh, thank goodness. Um... Unfortunately, he left us with some rather troubling words. It's free real estate. He implied that there's another traitor among us. What? Come on, Harmonia. Do you really believe that? He's just trying to mess with your head. You're probably right, but I have to admit, I do feel a bit uneasy. That's not like you at all. You usually trust everybody. I know, it's just that. No, no is your fever coming on stronger? I feel so sluggish. Oh, this isn't good. His fever is spiking. We really need that medicine. Alright, now that Iago's gone, I should be able to get into the apothecary. But I still don't know what I'm looking for. I'll help too. Uh, of course, I'll come with you. Let's go. Z's. Looks like he's sleeping soundly. So, the medicine must have worked. Yes. Yes, he should be fine now. He just needs plenty of rest. Thank you. Thank you, Sakura. <sighs> Yay. Oh, I'm glad he's doing better. All right. Yes, uh, thank you for your help, Flora. I hate to think about what could have happened if you hadn't been there. Please, <laughs> don't mention it. So, what are you going to do now, Lord Harmonia? Iago knows exactly where you are. Yeah. I Iago would like to know your location. Accept, decline. Yes, that's true. But I think we have to stick to the original plan and head to the capital. Um... Oh, I see. I guess I was kind of hoping that you'd stop by my village first. Huh? Really? Why? Um, to be honest, I don't feel safe here anymore. I want to go home. But it makes sense for you too. The Ice Tribe village isn't controlled by Nor. You could take shelter there and plan your next move. Then Takami could get some much needed rest. Hmm. But what if King Garen finds out that your village is cooperating with us? Aren't you worried about what could happen? It'll be fine. I think the village will be alright. It's full of strong warriors. 
If soldiers were to invade, the villagers would simply freeze them in place. <laughs> I guess that's true. Oh, this is exciting. I've always wanted to show you my home village, Lord Harmonia. Remember how we used to dream about this, Flora? Felicia. Yes. Yes, we did. Understood. Very well. This should throw the Norian army off our track, at least for a while. Thank you for the offer, Flora. Yes. Of course. It's my pleasure. All right. Let's give Takumi a few more minutes to rest and then get moving. Uh, um... Yeah. Be careful. Huh? King Garen's coming with his imagination box. The prophecy was true. Thanos will gather the infinity star- Takumi, what do you mean? Mother, something's not right. Look behind the curtain. What was that? It's delirious. Did that make sense to anyone else? It must be some fever dream he's having. I don't know, Harmonia. He sounded lucid for a second there. Yeah. Yes, I suppose he did. Well, time to... Time to save there. That was my identical cousin who's also named Iago. He's voiced by Gilbert Gottfried. Another reference I don't get. And yeah, well, time to save. Well...